Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. In today's video I will be showing you how to play PC games on your mobile phone. To start off with all you need to do is head on over to the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page you now need to download the Windows Streamer and you need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading we can now run the setup file and we can go install. Once the install has finished, you now need to create an account. Once you have created an account and signed in, Remota will detect all the games that are installed on your computer. As you can see here, it's found 11 games. If it's not detected all the games on your machine, you can simply go on to add game. And you can now select the directory of where the game is you would like to add. You now need to go onto your mobile phone and download the Remota Game Streaming app and press install. Once the app has finished installing we can now open it and this is what you will end up with. You now need to press continue and continue again. You now need to sign into your Remota account. Once you are signed in you can now select your machine at the top. Sorry about the screen being so reflective, it's quite hard to capture this on my camera. I'm now going to go through my games and select a game I want to play. Let's go ahead and play Grand Theft Auto. And as you can see it's now loading it up on my phone and it's also booting it up on my computer. If I just move the camera up for a second, you will see that Grand Theft Auto is now loading on my machine. Let's just face the camera back down now and look at what we have here. We can now edit our controls. If we go on to edit controls, we have a few options at the top here. We can add a keyboard, we can add a mouse, we can add some arrow keys, a joystick, a controller. I'm going to just go ahead and add some keys. You can move the keys around by simply dragging them about and it moves them around on the screen which is nice and easy. Let's go ahead and add a few more keys. And there we go. As you can see, I am now playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City on my mobile phone, which is connected to my computer. And it really is as easy as that. Obviously, I've not got the control set up properly at the moment, but with a bit of playing around, you will get this down to perfection. I hope this tutorial helped. Also, I forgot to mention you can actually add on other devices that are Bluetooth supported. For example, you could connect your PS4, your Xbox One controller to your mobile phone and use that instead. Or you could even use a keyboard or mouse that supports Bluetooth. And that is it. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.